How it's made. Today on How It's Made. Balloons. Okay, here we are in a lovely tree of balloons. Balloons are used in many, many occasions such as birthdays and weddings and also sometimes the old ceremony of death in which they use grey balloons. Yes, but it's not all fun and games. Here's how they're made. First, they are inflated. The woman's hand here, she is called Jennifer and she has an incredible power to inflate balloons simply by holding them. Here is the liquid balloon. This one is white. They're going to add blue to it. All balloons start off white, but you never see white balloons. That's the secret of the balloon industry. Now this is going to a creamy blue, a sky blue. It was beautifully swirly, but then it gets ruined by science. This is orange. And this is pink. This is turquoise. And this is dripping spraying water. Oh no! So out of the mist comes many uninflated balloons on sticks. These are the molds for the balloons. They will dip into the liquid rubber and then out again. It's a very quick process because if you get too much goo, you have a very thick balloon, very difficult to inflate. Yes, and they let it drip a little bit to get the drips off because you don't want a drippy balloon either. This is another way of doing it, by bringing the water to the balloons. Take the mountain to Mavid as they'd say. Yes, that's what they say in this factory, that's their slogan. Yes, they go out their way to take that liquid to the balloon rather than the balloon to the liquid. Yes, they take the mountain to Mohammed. They look a little bit like light bulbs right now, but we know they're not because light bulbs cannot be wet in any circumstance. They are then rotated around and, and more are actually done into the blue. And here yet more Mohammeds are dipped into the mountain. They are then flipped around and then moved along along the conveyor belt to the brushes. The brushes they're going to roll up the little bits which will make them like the ends of balloons. Yeah, it's very fun to watch and incredible that it works at all. Yeah, so you can see here that's what it looked like and that's what it will look like. And here's another view of them being rolled up. It's like upside down socks. This was invented by a man who had troublesome socks and then Oh my god, they've dipped it into very hot water and they're just floating away. They float away and then raise back up. They are almost perfect balloons. That machine is very jumpy though because it's getting a bit old. You can see it creaks a bit. They're very steamy. Yes, but by the time you buy them, they will be ice did cold. You, did you see that too? They went from red to yellow in an instant. I didn't see that, but I wish I had. It was pretty damn awesome. Oh, wow. So now they are dipped into milk so that children get healthy bonds while they are blowing up their balloons. And it also makes them shiny. It does. It's a bit like icing. Maybe it actually was icing, which isn't so good for children, but delicious. These rollers are absolutely cool. I know. The rollers, you could say, are spellbinding. This machine now blows the balloons up and they get zoomed off into the future. They're actually rolled up through the rollers and then go through a machine like this and they are stretched a little bit to make them more stretchy. Yes. Now, Greg here has to pick up thousands and thousands of balloons. They only give him the pink ones. It's a, it's a sort of inside joke at the factory. They call him Old Pink Greg. They're then spun around for at least half an hour and sprayed with liquid goo, which will make them more gooey. This is to ensure that when you blow up the balloon, it is wet. They are then hung up by Janet to make sure they blow up a sufficient amount. You cannot blow up a balloon this big in real life. This machine is designed to make huge balloons. It's very scary, and I think it's a Luftheart. I think it is, and they're her favourite kind, because she is in love. 
She spins them around, and then she's done. There are some very silly shapes for balloons in the world. Let's hope we never have to encounter any of them. <laughs>